You know how to break apart a model to find the partial products. How can you use what you know to find and record a product? So here it's saying multiply 34 times 57. First thing we're going to do is estimate by rounding 34 to 30 and 57 to 60. Okay? So estimating, I'm going to do 3 times 6, which is 18, times this 10, times that 10, and I have 1,800. Okay? That's my estimate. Now I'm going to do the model. 30 and 4, we're taking this number, and remember putting it in expanded form, basically, for our model. And then the same thing with this one, 50 and 7. And then we're going to shade them. Okay? I don't have all my different colors, but we'll shade the 50 and by 30 pink. And we can do this one green. And we can do, hold on. Not at this moment. And then I'm going to do this one blue. And then I have a blank one. Okay. So if we want to set our problem up like we're used to setting it up when we did this in third grade, we're used to setting them up this way, aren't we? Yeah. I want you to look at how using the model this way actually can work this way by writing the numbers. If you think of this problem and you say, well, this 3 is really just 30, and this 5 is really just 50. Okay, I want people to be paying attention. I have too many people looking at other things. I need eyes up here, hands out of desks, pencils down. Okay, 3 represents 30, and 5 represents 50. You guys know that. You've done it here. So all I'm going to do first is multiply these first two numbers. 30 times 50. What is 3 times 5? 15. But we've multiplied it by a 10 here and a 10 here. So 30 times 50 is 1,500. If I was doing it this way, I would do that right here, wouldn't I? 1,500. It's the same thing. I'm just doing it with one last step so I don't have to draw the picture, but I can draw the picture if I want to. All right, then I go to step two. I'm going to erase this because they're sh we're shading by each step. So that was step one. Step two is that we're going to be multiplying across now. So we're going to multiply the 30 times 7. That's this one. Okay. What is... 30 times 7. Think for a moment. What is it? 210. 210. If I was doing the model, I would be doing that. I would say 30 times 7 is 210. That's very bad, 210. It's very skinny. Here. 210. Okay. That's that number. Then I would go on to the opposite. So first I did these two, and now I'm going to do these two. But I'm going to erase that so you can see what they are. Okay, it's 50 times 4. Do you see right here? Here's 50 times 4. Think for a moment, what is 50 times 4? Think in your head. Raise your hand when you know. What is it? It's 200. I'm going to put that up here because I don't want it in the pink. It's 200. 5 times 4 is 20 times the extra 10. That's 200. And then the last one we're going to multiply is the 1's place, both of the 1's place. And that's the 7 times 4. What is 7 times 4? Oh, thanks. What is it? 28. 28. Okay. So now I've done all of this. I've used the model to help me visualize it, but I'm showing how you can do this without having to actually draw the model out. Okay. What am I going to do with all four of these numbers that I just came up with? 1,500? Right. I'm going to add all of those numbers. When I add them all up, I get 1,938. I'm going to look at my estimate way up there. What was my estimate? 
1,800 close to 1,938? Yes. Yes, it's close enough to say that, that this answer is reasonable because it's close to the estimate. Okay. The apples from each tree in an orchard can fill 23 bushel <coughs> baskets. If one row of the orchard has 48 trees, how many baskets of apples can it fill? So it's saying that each row can fill 23 baskets. If, I'm sorry, each tree can fill 23 baskets. If there are 48 trees in the row, how many baskets is that? And so we're going to be multiplying them. The first thing we're going to be doing is rounding these and multiplying them. 48 rounds to? 50 and 23 rounds to? So we're going to multiply 5 times 2 is? 10. 10 times this 10 times this 10, and we have 1,000, or very messy 1,000. So okay, so our estimate is 1,000. Now we're going to go through the same steps that we did before, and in this spot before we had, so um, multiply the 10s first. So we're looking at this side first, the 20, the 2 and the 4 stand for 20 and 40. So we're going to be multiplying 20 times 40. I want you to think in your head first, what is 20 times 40? Raise your hand when you know. Okay, what is it? And they did write it out here that... that it says um, 40, they did the 40 times two tens is how they're showing it here, which is um, 80 tens, which is 800. You can do it that way if that helps you. I like to do four times two, which is eight times this 10 times this 10. And that's how I, I keep track of it, but you can do it this way too. Okay, multiply the ones down here, time, I'm sorry, the ones up here times the tens down here. So this is like saying, this number, which is what? The 4 is really stands for 40, 40 times 40 times 3. We're doing the blue numbers. 40 times 3 equals? Raise your hand when you know. Nope, raise your hand when you know. No, hand, not voice. Okay, what is it? Not 1,200. It's 40 times 3. The 3's are 1's. Okay? So it's 40 times 3, which is 120. 40 times 3, 120. Step 3. Now we're going to multiply these 1's by these 10's. So it's 8 times how many 10's? 2 10's, which is like 20, right? So 8 times 2 is 16. No, 8 times 2 is 16. There you go. 16 tens is how much? 160. I need everybody checking in. I have people checking out. I know it's a lot to think about, but I need you checked in. Okay, so 160. Now the last thing we're going to multiply are the ones place. Both ones. 8 times 3 equals 24. 24, so I'm going to put that 24 here. Go ahead and copy down my numbers, and then I want you to add these numbers at the end. Okay, I have some disagreement, so we're going to add it together. 4 plus zeros is 4. 2 plus 6 plus 2 is 10. Regroup. 8 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, so 8, 9, 10, 11. That's what I got. Is that what you guys got? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and look down here. Find 24 times 34. First, they're doing it with the model and the um, writing it above each other like this. So I want you to think, for the first one, what two numbers, raise your hand, what two digits? I'm not looking for the total numbers, but what two digits are we going to be multiplying first? What do you think? Three and two. And what it, what do they represent? What does the two represent? 
20. So two tens, right? And the three represents? Three, three tens. So when we multiply two times three, we get? Six, six tens. Ten. No, not six tens. Six tens here and tens here. So six hundred. Two tens times three tens is not six tens. It's actually because we actually have to multiply the tens times each other. So it's 600. So for my first thing right here, I'm going to write 600. Go ahead and do that right now. And they have it here. It's not asking us to estimate first this time. Okay, what are the second two digits that I'm going to multiply? Just the digits. Yes. These two right here, right? So the two represents what? No, this two right here represents 20. What is 4 times 20? 80. Oh my gosh, let's think for a minute before we just start. Wait, 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 wait. No, don't start yelling when I tell you to think. Think. Don't just start spitting numbers out. What is 4 times 20? Don't answer me yet. I want you to think. Okay, what is 4 times 20? 80. 80. It's not 800. It's 4 times 20. 4 20s. If I had 4 $20 bills, 20, 40, 60, 80. That's 80. Okay? What? So at first I multiplied these two digits, the value of those, which was 20 and 30. Then I did these two. Then I'm going to do which two digits now? Raise your hand if you have an idea. Four times thirty. So this four times this digit, which is represents thirty. So four times thirty. I want you to think what is four times thirty in your head and raise your hand when you know. Okay, what is 4 times 30? 30. Okay, I want, I'm going to go ahead and let you think again. What is, what is 4 times 30? Think again. Some of you had it, most of you did not. Okay, what is 4 times 30? 120. 4 times 3, I'm sorry. Yeah, 4 times 3 is 12. Times the 10 is 120. So that should go here. Okay, and what are the last two digits that I'm going to be multiplying? Raise a right hand if you can tell me. Four and four. Oh, four and four. Four and four. Four times four is? Sixteen. Sixteen. Add those up. Go ahead and do yours and add them up. Okay, who would like to tell me what they got? Mm. Um, 816. That looks right off the top of my head. Is that what you guys got? Yes. 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 So then we're golden. All right. Go ahead and switch to the other page. We did one. Okay. When you do these, I will be looking for four numbers to be added. So I should see the first one, we're going to multiply 10 times 10. What is 10 times 10? 100. 100. And then I'm going to do these two. It doesn't matter which ones you do first, it really doesn't, as long as you keep track of which ones you already did. So this time I'm going to do 10 from the bottom here, 10 times 2, which is 20. And now I'm going to do this 10 times this 2, which is <coughs> 20. 
And then I'm going to do 2 times 2, which is 4. Okay. So here's what's going to happen. Here's what, where you're going to mess up, is making sure you're keeping track of which ones you already did. So you might, with your pencil, to help you keep track of which ones you already did, you might just draw a light line through the problem, especially when the problem's already written. When I put a line through it, I can't see it anymore. But when you do it with your pencil, you should still be able to see it. So if I do three, if I do these first, okay, I'm going to say 30 and 20, I've already done, that's 600. And then I'm going to do 20 and 1, 20 times 1 is 20. And then I'm going to do 30 times 4, 30 times 4 is 120. And then I'm going to do, what was it left? I can't see anymore. When it was up. Yeah, 1 right. times 4. See, my marker is too thick. I can't see it. But when you do it with your pencil, you'll be able to um, still see through, especially if you do it light. It'll help you keep track. You're going to have these two first, and then you're going to do the middle ones, and then you're going to do the end ones. Okay? It's, I need you to um, make sure that you're keeping track of that, though. All right, go ahead and do number four on your own. <laughs> 